What's up amigos? Welcome to Think Builder. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my first attempt doing a two color halftone print, which is this one right here. And I'm going to show you guys how I did from start to finish. Okay amigos. Now, you guys probably all seen my video on this one where how to do a one color halftone print. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. That has been my most popular video. And I decided to step it up just a bit, do it with two colors. That way I could build up my skills. And this is the final print. The white will be the underbase for the second color, which is this one right here. But in reality, I actually like this one better. I actually like this one better. With just the 2020 being the two colors and keeping the face mask white. And the reason I did the design was because basically, you know, 2020, is this what we're going to be remembered as for, you know, the face masks? Are we going to go throughout this entire year having to wear face masks while out in public? I don't know how I was over in the US, but here we had to wear the face mask. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys earlier today and we actually made the design so you could follow along. And just to be clear, I'm not a complete Photoshop expert, so don't consider this as a tutorial nor a tutorial for you know screen printing because i am learning right now i'm building my skills probably you guys who watch it you could probably learn as well and for those who are actually have more experience i would really like your feedback tell me what to make different as well you know tips or ideas but anyways let's go to the computer not computer i mean let me go back to earlier today and We'll go on with the rest of today. So let's get started. Now, here's the image that we're actually going to be working on. I already did this just so I could uh, prepare for this film. So we're going to try to remake this all over again, even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to make this 2020 a lot bigger. The image, I'm going to leave a link. I actually got this from this right here from unsplash.com from, from this user. Open with Photoshop. Where's it? As for me, I don't like working on the original picture. So I always end up making another file. File new. And I'm gonna be doing 11 by 17 because that is the film size that I work with. You might be using a larger one, 13 by 19, or even a smaller one, uh, eight and a half by 11. But for me, I have films of 11 by 17. That's what I'll be working with. Resolution, I'm gonna keep it at 300. But I'm gonna use a black background because since this is gonna go in a black shirt, so click okay. Duplicate layer and my new untitled free transform, and we're just going to adjust it. I like working better with the mouse on this part. Right about there. Click OK. This looks perfect to me. And the only thing left to do is to actually crop the rest of the image because, for example, you still have all this around here and you don't need that. So, one way to do is just click on this and click on the crop tool. And just click OK. There. That way, the rest of the image, I mean, the part that I'm going to use, it goes away. You can see that. Okay, so next step is to erase the background. 
And there are a lot of different ways to do it. There's one way where you could use the quick selection tool and start selecting. But for this image, it doesn't work that good. So I'm not gonna do that. Another way to do it is to use the background eraser tool. But it doesn't get everything on this image since her hair kind of blends in with the background. For her hair, the shirt it looks, it comes out perfect, but for her hair, not so good. So we're not gonna do that. Now what we're gonna do it is just using the straight up pen tool. So click on the pen. Let me zoom in closer. Click the pen. Now I, I I don't always use the tablet. I'm still trying to get used to it. So you start selecting around her her face and her shoulders. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna fix this later on. Right click and make selection. Click OK. Then we're going to invert this, select inverse. They just hit the backspace and it's gone. Control D to deselect. Now the next step is to actually start erasing, fixing the edges around her face and her shoulders. So all we're going to do is go to the eraser tool. So it's a brush. It's kind of like one of these. You don't want to make it like extra, extra hard. And we'll just start racing. That looks good. Next step is to erase a little bit of this bottom part right here. So what we're gonna do is go to the circle, shape, I mean, ellipse. Right about there. Select inverse eraser. I will delete this right here. Select inverse again, and we're gonna erase part of the edges right here to make it more blend into it. Still, it still looks a little bit bad because the way she has her shirt, <laughs> if this would have been, if this would have been like more up here, it would have looked more even, but uh, yeah. Now to fix, to make her face max uh, second color. So what we're gonna do is let's zoom in to get a better look. This time we are gonna use the quick selection tool. I'm not gonna worry about the little strings because those are way too small but we're gonna leave that on there. Once it's selected, right click, layer via copy, and now we only have her little face mask. I'm realizing something, I don't know if you can tell. Then when I, when I kinda erased the, cut the picture, I erased part of the image, I mean the background, cause you can see this little line here. I don't know if it's just my monitor or if I suddenly did delete part of the background. So to avoid that mistake, I'm just gonna expand this one. I'm just gonna expand the background just in case I did suddenly cropped a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to locking this. Okay, so let's go back to changing the color to the face mask. Let's go back, zoom in. What we're gonna do now, since we have the layer selected, go, my bad. 
hide this real quick. Click the quick selection tool or magic wand tool. Select the inverse. Pretty sure there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just doing this way because click on I can't remember this button right here. But click on solid color. And we're gonna go choose a color. I'm gonna choose kind of like a magenta because I do have like a magenta color that I got from Festival Mexico in like 2008. I have not used that. I used it once to do like just a small print. Okay. We're gonna go to right here and this. Sorry, I don't know the Photoshop terms. But we just click on multiply. Bring it back so you can see it. And right here you can tell just a little bit it's showing but that's okay because it is going to help out when you register so you don't have to worry about that little tiny you know edge of white because anyways the background of her face is going to be black and white so no worries about that so now the only thing left to do is start separating this but first we're going to fix the background because that is going to be black and white so we're just going to go to image adjustments black and white and yeah, we're going to mess around with these levels right here Oh, that, that's the look I was looking for. Okay, click OK. Now we're gonna go to Curves. That looks pretty good. That's why I mentioned earlier that getting the edges on her hair or her shoulder wasn't really that important. It's gonna get lost in here anyways. To close that. Then now, now we need the text 2020 down here. The text, 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 text. So we're gonna use 2020. Now the font I'm using is actually called Mental Rapture. I'll leave a link so you can download it. I actually got it from where is it at? Right here. The font.com. I'll leave a link so you can download it. So 2020. And we're gonna make it same color. I forgot what color this is. I'm just gonna copy this. Okay. Click on the text. Paste the same ink. And yes, I made it bigger. Let me make sure that's in the middle. Select everything. Gonna kind of text, move button, little. Control the select. Now what we're gonna do is right click on the text layer and we're gonna click on rasterize type. That way you can give it like a vector format. It's no longer actually an actual text. But since this is gonna be magenta, where it is gonna need a white underbase. So we're gonna do is duplicate this layer right click duplicate layer click ok and this one we're using it on their base 2020 on their base double click on it first we're going to do a color overlay straight of white ok and we are going to add a stroke that way it'll be easier to register give us some you know some breathing room so it won't, have to be, it won't actually be butt to butt and also it looks a lot cooler but i'm going to give this a size of two no you can probably tell let's try with three see start to tell but let me zoom in See, without the stroke, with the stroke, and we hide the top. So, now before we start separating this, I need to make one final adjustment. I'm gonna select every. Not that. I'm gonna select everything. And move it up just a bit so I could get some breathing room for my registration marks. So let's just start moving it up. 
about right there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much. Okay, or if you want, you could just edit free transform and just shrink everything just a little bit. Just to be extra, extra careful. So yeah, we're pretty much done there. So the only thing left to do is to actually separate this. And right now, if you notice when I actually shrunk it and kind of moved the this part right here. All right, print out. Supposedly, but if I zoom in, it looks the same. Zoom out. It looks like there's a little layer here, but probably just my eyes or my screen. But anyways, time to actually start separating this. So the first thing we're going to separate is the white underbase. So let me hide, let me put pink text. <laughs> okay, so let me hide the pink text. This right here. And I'm actually going to leave, I could hide this. But I'm going to leave it on there. So now we have just the white. Select everything. Add a copy, merge. We're going to file a new file. New. And I'm going to click right here. White under base. Under base. Background black. RGP. I mean the resolution. I mean what in the base size again 11 by 17 because that is my film size resolution keep at 300 and the background black this is going to be a black shirt edit paste once paste go to image adjustments and click on invert image mode grayscale flatten the scar, image, mode, and bitmap so you can get those half tones. Now the input output has to be exactly the same since my input was 300 pixels per inch. My output is going to be 300. Use half tone screen. Click OK. The LPI, that all depends on you. I'll leave a link again where you can find out what's the best LPI for to use. Me, I'm going to use that 45. I like those dots. Angles, same thing. Shape, that's up to you. Some people use round, some people use ellipse. I'm going to keep it ellipse. And click OK. And there we finally have our little half tones. Let me zoom in, you can tell. But now it's time to add the restriction marks. So let me go to my file. The restriction marks I have already. I'll I'll have this for free for you guys. I'll leave a link in the bottom so you can download it. Select everything, edit, copy, merge, which is what under base, edit, paste. And right here you can straight print it. Or in case you don't have a printer, you go to Office Depot. You can just save this at PDF and take it over there and print it. Okay, but I'm just gonna save this in the meantime. I'll print it later. Yes, white under base. Save. So now, it's time to do the pink. So let's hide the white background. Curves. This guy right here. No, I actually need this guy right back. I need him. I need the 2020 underbase. Click on this one. And this. Now, unlike like the white underbase, I'm not, I'm not going to copy, merge, and paste it. Because I actually have to change this to white. Like, double click on first on the pink test. Color overlay. And click it to white. The reason I'm doing this is because if I take it exactly like the, the way it is as the magenta color to the new file once i turn it to grayscale or inverting it's not going to give me a solid solid uh black on the 2020 it doesn't cause issues 
so that's why I'm doing this. So same thing on this one. Just click all the way to want. Click OK. And now I could edit, copy, merge. Click file, new. And I'm going to click this. I'm going to click magenta. Even though it's not really magenta. Same thing, 11 by 17, resolution 300, background black. Click OK. Edit, paste. Image. Adjustments, invert, mode, grayscale, flatten, discard, OK. Image, mode, bitmap, 300, 300, use half tone screen, OK. Frequency, 45, shape, ellipse, OK. And there we go. I'm going to show you guys why I changed it to completely white. You can see right here, 2020, solid black. Now pretend that I just, where's this? Where is it? Where's it? This one. Let's pretend that I just edit, copy, merge, just like it is pink, and I want to a new layer. Click OK. Edit, paste. Okay, now pretend that I would have gone to image mode, black and white. Click OK. Then I would have invert this adjustments. Invert. You see that I still have like a gray color. And if I would have gone to image mode, grayscale, flatten, discard, image mode, bitmap. I would have gotten this right here. See? Big difference. No. That's why it was important to actually change this to white. But anyways, so I finally have this as half tones. Left to do is add the restriction marks. So click on everything. Go back to my restriction marks file. Select everything, image, copy, merge. Go to magenta, edit, paste. Oops, something went wrong. Let me do that again. Cause then when I went to the top, I don't know why. Restriction marks. Edit, copy, merge, magenta, edit, paste. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I did that. Again, I'm going to save this. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So now the other thing I have to do is to print this out. I'm going to print this out, come back and show you guys the films. So ready to print. Let's start with the white underbase. Go to file, print, and make sure that my settings are correctly. Photo, grayscale, matte photo paper, quality high, then by 17, and click OK. And let's click print. I'm not actually going to show you guys the actual printing because I have the printer upstairs and I don't feel like, you know, mm -hmm. plugging everything from right here and going upstairs. So let me cut this real quick. Okay. So I got, okay. So I have to print the other base again because uh, a cockroach got in the printer, man. And it's munch all of it. And I was and I was gonna print the magenta color first. If I would have done that, well, I could have just blocked this down and just used the base mask. But no. Oh, well, let me do this all over again. File print. Okay. Now it's time to print the magenta. Same steps. Finally done printing my films. Unfortunately, I did end up losing one film because a cockroach ended up getting inside the printer and caused that smear right there. And since I had the print upstairs, I didn't realize that happened to uh, everything got printed out. If I would have been there watching it, I would have seen that. I would have, you know, canceled the printing. But, you know, things happen. So the thing left to do now is, the thing left to do now is, I'm going to prepare some new motion. I'm going to cool my screens, let those screens dry. 
with my dehumidifier that I have back there. Once it's completely dry, I'm gonna expose the screens and they're gonna start printing. All right, amigos, so finally I'm gonna expose my screens. And first things first, I'm gonna clean the glass since it has been a while since I haven't used it and I collected dust. Even though I had a cover, I'm just gonna clean it just to be careful. And uh, hopefully everything goes well since the motion that, that I am used to, it is old. I think it's like more than a year old. And I'm gonna just take a risk because there's still some left in there and I don't go to waste. Yeah. Okay, amigos, so I finally got done exposing my screens. They're, they're not completely perfect. Like I mentioned, the screen, I mean, the motion that you see is real old, as well as the pericromato, the chemical that I used to activate the motion. This is the first screen. I don't know if you can tell, but I have like a little runoff of the pericromato. Tell, see. And on the other one, this one, since these screens aren't that well tension as well, I got like a big blob of emotion on this part section. And down here, looking at it right now, I think it's kind of clogged up because I can't see all the way through. So I'm thinking that probably this part won't come out perfect because I guess it was running off and it got stuck here. And I don't feel like cutting out the screen and exposing it because I want to get this done already. And since it is just for practice, it ain't like an actual, you know, prick job. I'm just going to use these screens. Hopefully it still looks okay. So I was taping my screens and this is a problem. I do have small screens, which is the problem because literally the entire film fits in here. And I won't have any breathing room for the bottom part right here. You see, here's the print and here's the stretcher marks. You can barely see it. As well, if you see on the film, the design still goes more below here, but it doesn't fit. So that's what sucks about having the small screens. So I do want, I will invest later on in larger screens, like this one, this size aluminum screens. And unfortunately, I couldn't use these ones because these are more open mesh. It wouldn't be good for the half tones. But well, maybe you guys have larger screens, so you won't have this little problem where you have to tape off part of the design, the bottom of the print, but... Oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna register this real quick and start printing. I already have my flash dryer uh, up and running. I was gonna use the heat gun, but... It was gonna take forever, you know, getting the base. Finally got done registering. I thought it was gonna take longer, that's why I didn't record it, but... That was faster than I expected. Had to eyeball it and I did have to cover the registration marks due to the fact that I do have small screens. Alright, it's time to do the test print. I have a tester right here. 
hopefully I reach this chair everything right. I don't want to make any more adjustments. Yeah, this came out like crap. The pink on the magenta of the screen, yeah, it was totally clogged up. It didn't get nothing here. It didn't get nothing over here. For the face mask, almost nothing. And the white, it got all these weird, I don't know, the weird pattern it got. I didn't want to do this, but I'm gonna reclaim two more screens. Finally got done exposing two new screens because these ones didn't come out okay and honestly with these ones i let it dry like for half an hour along with the dehumidifier and still came out horrible so i recorded two new screens i just call them real, real quick i hit them with the blow dryer and i exposed them and they exposed better here's the one we saw on the other one it was kind of blocked but this time nothing Okay, except my screens, I mean my films, they got smudged with, I don't know, some kind of grease. I only realized it when I was exposing. I saw that, I'm like, I don't know where it came from, but I realized that my films, they got stained, I don't know by what, but, but luckily it wasn't, wasn't the design, it was along the edges. Here's the other one I printed this, I mean, I printed, I mean, I exposed this one as well. I was only going to expose the one with the magenta, but I decided to do with this one as well. And as you can tell, way better. I didn't have those, you know, those strips from the Bricomato, the chemical that goes into motion. So I got this one. So now I'm gonna expose, I mean, I'm gonna register them real quick and I'm gonna test print with these ones. Luckily, I took the day off to do this video. Otherwise, I would have to wait till the next day to expose new screens and the next day, like, so. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the test print using the two new screens. Okay, it came out better than the first one. And it's not registered that well. I just gonna lift the screen a little bit more up. Let me cure this real quick. Show you guys. Sorry, let me show you guys this real quick. Okay, here's the print, my first test print. You can tell my registration is all finally lift it up a more. Just a hair. No probably two hairs. So let me go stop. Funny thing I got the register perfect. Just a little tiny hair off, but Good enough for me. So I'm gonna do another test print before I move on to the actual shirt. I'm gonna use my little sheet that I bought from at a fabric store. So amigos, it's taking longer than I expected, but I'm probably gonna do the shirt. I did a few test prints where I fixed the register. Right here, I kinda, I got it. I was having difficult with this right here. So I did another test print, but for some reason it moved the red or the magenta it moved you can tell it moved so i was going to re-register it again but when i did a test print it came out okay probably the shirt moved so i'm gonna finally do a shirt because i'm already tired
bathroom look. So here's my print. Again. Right here, I just noticed this right now. That right here on the screen they didn't get washed out properly. I missed some spots. At first I thought it was the film, but now I realized that it was just the screen. Here too, look at that. I just noticed that right now. And the registry, let me pull this out. The register, I was just a hair off. I right can pretty tell. So let me cure this. I will give this another stroke on the magenta color, but I don't want to because I don't want to make this too dark. Because otherwise it will lose this detail on the face mask. So let me cure this real quick. Here's the final print. Not that bad for my first attempt at doing a two color half tone. So I have one more shirt. But I'm going to do it different this time. This time I'm only going to have the 2020 be magenta and the uh, face mask. I just leave it white. Okay, amigos, so we're finally done. Got my shirts printed. I only had two black shirts, so that's why I got two. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I actually like this version better. Should've just done this one. This one looks pretty cool, but I don't know. I kind of feel like the color in the face mask kind of throwing it off the design. This is a keeper for me. But again, I had some issues. The emotion I had, horrible. My first two screens, completely, you know, not good at all. I had to expose two of the screens. That came out a little better, except right here, like I mentioned earlier. And you can tell right here, it didn't get completely, so that's just kind of weird. And the bottom got cut off just a little bit since my screens, they're not big enough. And I had to, you know, cover the registration marks and the bottom of the screen so the ink won't go into the screen. But other than that, I feel pretty good about this. My first attempt doing two color half tone print, even though I did do like a similar process where it is half tones and it was two colors, but it was kind of like uh you know separated. For this one, it was actually you know uh, an under base. And other issues I was having as well, example for the white screen, horrible tension. I already lost this tension. Oh crap! I grabbed ink on my hand finger. Yeah, no good tension. Maybe you guys, for those who decide to give this a 10, you have better luck because you might have better screens than me. You will actually have, you know, off contact me. I can't adjust my off contact here because this present I haven't. And like I said, I will leave a link to the actual picture so you could try yourself, follow along with me as well. I'll give a freebie. I'll give this rate of print, but just completely white you know it'll just be the pdf file it won't have this it won't have uh the magenta color it would just be everything just white i'll give that for free i'll leave a link to my patreon page so you can download that but those who are a patreon i will leave the ready to print files one i'll actually include the design the pdf the whole design i'll include also the ready to print files for the magenta and the white under base already you know with the half tones as well with the pdf versions in case you don't have a photoshop but you do want you want just want to print it out i'll include that in my patreon so you're going to, have to go over there to check it out to see what is i get to do to able to download that but yeah so, 
and that's pretty much for today's video luckily i had to i decided to take the day off to do this video because this took longer than i expected if i would have done this trying to do it after work that would have taken probably longer so luckily i was able to take the day off to do this and what else what else what else i don't know but don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and facebook if you have any questions feel free to drop in the comments below or you could dm me whichever of those platforms you want but let me tell you amigos i'll see you guys next time